Welcome back to Toyota Fanatics. So today we're switching gears a little bit. Uh, we're not touching the Tundra and we're not touching the T100. We're actually showing the Sequoia a little love today. Much overdue. Before we get started, I actually need to go uh, run an errand real quick, pick something up that's very small but very important. And I also like to get the uh, engine oil warmed up before I do an oil change. I was probably gonna be pissed for showing you guys this, but uh, what a mess this car is right here. Look at this, we got old masks, receipts, sunglasses. I mean, we, even got a, we even got a half eaten donut on the ground. Half eaten donut. What is this? Random cardboard. Blankets on the ground. It's not how I keep my cars, but you know. No, I'm just kidding. My wife's awesome. A little bit of clutter is totally fine. She spends a lot of time in this thing. All right, so where I'm going right now is I'm going to swing by the dealership real quick and get some uh, drain plug washers or crush washers, I guess is what some people call them. So I normally keep a couple on hand here, but I don't have any right now. Um, I've reused them before. I've even gone without them before. But as I get older and wiser, I think it's important to do it the right way. Uh, you know, it was brought to my attention yesterday. It's like noon, my wife calls me, she's driving somewhere and she goes, hey, when was the last time we did an oil change on the Sequoia? And I said, well, let me check. And uh, it's been 9,000 miles, you guys, and this thing is not running synthetic. This is the longest oil change interval I've ever let go on any vehicle we've owned ever in history. And I guess it's just a sign of the times to show that I'm, I'm pretty busy with other stuff going on. I mean, there was a time in my life where it's like, I, I was doing oil changes uh, at 3,000 miles on the dot. Now I let this thing go 9,000 miles. The good news is I actually checked the oil the other day and it's absolutely perfect on this thing. So uh, dirty oil, but it's perfect. But anyways, uh, the wife yesterday said, will you please change the oil in my car? So I'm just gonna jump up today, get it done. I don't have any drain plug washers. So we're gonna run to Toyota real quick. I'm actually gonna pick up something else there also. We'll come back home, I already got the oil and filter, and then we'll knock this thing out real quick. All right, let's do this. Look at the sharks, you guys. We got sharks everywhere. They're probably thinking, hey, that guy wants to trade that thing in on something new. I think I've complained to you guys a bunch lately about how annoying it is having a tandem driveway. So I'm gonna pull out the Tundra to pull in the Sequoia because that spot in the back isn't flat. I'm actually gonna drive this thing today. This thing has not been out in a while. I'm gonna pull it out in the street and we're gonna take this thing out later. With that squeaky fan belt. So outside in my work area, I actually have these pre uh, pre packaged deals right here. And I have little kits of clothes to wear for stuff like oil changes and workout stuff. Look at that. Let's get changed up and get this thing started. All right, so this is the stuff we're working with today. Uh, new air filter, drain plug washer. We got a K&N HP 1002. I have been using these things for like 20 years. I don't know why. Uh, my dad always gives me crap for wasting the extra eight dollars over the factory filter but i like those things um i don't know why i got this high mileage i just went into o'reilly yesterday and i mean the little odometer thing says seventy-five thousand, and that thing has 107 so i, mean, I guess we're there uh, but yeah we're just using regular oil in this thing uh, i thought about switching up to synthetic but i don't know why classic old school four seven conventional oil we'll just stick with it Now there she is. What a beauty. All right, well, the rest of that uh, oil's draining out. Let's go ahead and uh, change this filter out real quick. I mean, we could clean it out and keep it going, but keep in mind, I think this thing used to be red down here. It's just time for it to go, that's all. What if I told you guys, yeah, this thing actually used to be white. It used to look like that. 
how much thicker that factory one is, man. That must mean it filters a lot better. All right. Never any fitment issues when you're rocking OEM. There's no doubt about that. I am tired of aftermarket crap stuff. I mean, I keep buying it, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna show you guys which, uh, something that everybody in the whole world knows. If you don't know this already, you probably shouldn't be changing oil, but before you throw the new filter on, super important to throw some oil in there. Just a little bit. And I also like to throw the cap back on. It's real tempting just to leave a bottle of oil sitting there with the cap off because no one's gonna bonk into it, but then it does, and then you're short on oil, and then that's just, that's a whole headache right there. So, take a little bit of this. Some people go overboard with it. I like just to do a nice, thin little film. You don't need to go crazy with it at all. That surface clean right there, up right there, we'll try and cut that thing off. Enter in like that, all right. All right, so I already know that the thing takes 6.2 quarts, but it's always good to double check when you go in your owner's manual. Look at, I went right to it. Page 457 of that Sequoia's owner manual, engine lubrication, oil capacity, drain and refill. If you're gonna do it with a filter, we're talking 6.2 quarts. All right, you guys, back to the OCD files. So. Uh, with that big jug, of course, you're going to save a couple bucks with the big jug, but the spill factor is huge. So I would rather go grab an old sheet and lose an old sheet before I spill oil all over the place. So I'm just going to lay this sheet right here until I can get a good amount of this jug in there. But just watch you guys. There's so much room for error. It's nice that it has this side handle right here. Some of these jugs only have the top one. And that is a wrap. It's fired up, run it for a sec, uh, check the dipstick, and then um, moving on. Yeah, perfect. All right, so another satisfied customer of the Toyota Fanatics Garage. How was your experience today? Wonderful. One. Very speedy. Wow, will you be returning? Yes. Yeah. Awesome, sounds good. All right. Thank you. Of course, absolutely. Okay, drive safe, let me know if there's any issues. Okay, good. You know where to find me. <laughs>